Good morning, Quadcopter101 here. Before we get started, let's get today's shout out out of the way. Today's shout out goes to BDD FPV. He was the first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus one's a shout out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter101 here with a review of the FX822 F22 aircraft. What is the F22 aircraft? Well, this is a two channel RC flyer uh, for beginners, mainly meant for beginner flyers. Uh, two channel, very easy. All you got is throttle and rudder or yaw turning for if you will since this really doesn't have any uh, workable rudders here the way this flies folks is through differential thrust these two motors here if you want to turn right or left uh, what happens is one of these motors is going to turn faster than the other to give it that turn to be able to to produce a turn now what else is really neat about this particular airplane is that it includes uh, aircraft or includes stabilization system in it uh, that should make it e more easy for beginner flyers to keep it in the air the stabilization system will prevent the aircraft from rolling too far over to the right or left or pitching too far up or down now there is a limit to that you know if one of these control surfaces gets damaged or is out of uh, whack uh, it can be a little bit too much for the uh, stabilizer to control, and you're going to have to, and they have in the instructions, bend, say, bending these control surfaces to correct any issues like that. I would not recommend that, uh, especially uh, for up or down yaw. If you get up or down, not yaw, up or down pitch on this, or which is called fugoid oscillations. If it goes up or down like this, what you need to do in that case is I would recommend putting a little bit of weight on the nose. And we'll, we'll find out how well this works because I'll bring some putty with me for weight corrections on this aircraft if we need to uh, do any balancing of the aircraft. Um, other things you get with this particular aircraft, you get instruction manual, you get a tube of glue, and what do you need the tube of glue for other than... No, you're not going to be sniffing this, <laughs> folks. What you need the tube of glue for is, um, for packaging purposes, they did not install the vertical stabilizers. Okay, you're going to have to do that yourself. Just put a little, run a little bit, bit of glue on the bottom surface of it and just stick it in both sides of the aircraft and that will uh, complete the installation. Make sure that they look like this. You want them tilted outward instead of inward. Okay, there is there will be a difference if you put them in wrong. Uh, for mine, the way I got to do right is if I had the F-22 insignia outboard, placed outboard, I was able to get the outward uh, bending of the vertical stabilizers. If you do it the other way around, they're going to tilt inward. It's not going to look right. It still might fly, but it's not going to look right, folks. Um, what else do you get in this? You get a 300 milliamp per hour, 3.7 volt battery, very common. You should be able to find replacement batteries for this if you want to keep flying out in the field. You also get a battery charger for that battery, a little white low C battery charger, and you get a spare set of propellers. So that's about it. Uh, it is constructed of EPP foam, so it should be tough for crashes. In addition, the front nose cone is collapsible to absorb a little bit of impact if you do a nose in. So we'll see how well that actually performs if I do nose it in. So let's go for a flight of the FX A22 and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Firing up the throttle and away we go. <laughs> Again, you gotta turn these by jiggling, if I remember correctly, and I do. <laughs> and that seems to fix it better. Do not give proportional turns or you will nose in or crash it. You gotta turn it like this. Reducing throttle, we'll bring it down lower. Let's turn to the right this time. Yeah, these two, two channel aircraft you got to turn them like this. <laughs> if you try to do a proportional turn, they almost always nose in for some reason. I'm trying to bring it down lower too. Let's turn to the right this or left this time. More throttle. And bring it toward me. And there it is. Going by. Yeah, I'm sorry about that crash, folks. I forgot these, how these two channels fly. You just can't uh, steer them proportionally. They just don't like it. 
And I probably could use a little more uh, weight on the nose the way that this thing's flying. It's trying to fly nose up. Okay, going downwind. Might be a nose up. I only bent that. I didn't hardly bent that uh, horizontal stabilizer at all. So I don't think that's what's doing it. Probably just need to calibrate it. Here, turn it to the left. There we go. And there it goes again. <laughs> the FX822. More throttle, more throttle. Too much throttle. And we're going to stop there. And let's see if I can bend down that. Actually, maybe I got some putty in my box. Hold on, folks. Let's see if I got some putty that I can add to the nose of this thing to, to bring the nose down a little bit. Hold on. Okay, what I'm going to do, actually, let's, let's move it back. Let's move the weight back to about here. See if that helps in any. Hopefully that'll uh, adjust the center of gravity so it'll fly a little bit, little bit better. So let's try it again. Yeah, I think I got it that time. Turning. Yeah, I got it. So a little bit of putty was needed there, folks. Keep that in mind. Turning to the right. Coming around. Trying to come down a little lower here, reducing throttle. Not that low. More throttle, more throttle. Oh! I don't know, folks. <laughs> I'm trying with this one, but it does not seem uh, too stable. Um, I'm going to move the putty back. Uh, let's take the putty off entirely. That didn't seem to do anything here, except nose me into the ground. Put the putty in my pocket. Let's try it again. We'll keep on flying until we're out of battery. Boy, it sounds like a jet though, don't it? <laughs> turning it to the right. More throttle when I'm turning. Remember to give it throttle as you're turning. Keep it up. Yeah, these two channels. <laughs> They're fun. They're interesting. They're cheap. They get you into the hobby. That's the whole idea. Let's get you interested in the hobby. This one's a little bit more difficult to fly than others, though. I have to admit that. But it, once it's in the air, it does look cool. More throttle. Even more throttle to keep it up. And yeah, it definitely could use weight on the nose, but every time I put a little bit of weight, it messes up my... I end up in the ground. Turn it to the left. Let's bring it back closer too. More throttle, more throttle, more throttle, more throttle. Yeah, that stabilizer on this, the gyro stabilizer, takes a while to react. I don't know why. But it does seem to take a quite a bit of turn, time to, to react. Now going downwind, gotta give it more throttle to go downwind. There is a little bit of wind today. That's probably some of my issue here. More wind as we turn, going downwind. Full throttle right now. Reduce the throttle. I'm going to go around again one more time to the right. Increasing throttle. Increasing throttle. And bringing it back toward me, going upwind or into the wind so I can reduce the throttle a bit.
going downwind, increasing throttle, keep it in the air, going downwind, reducing throttle, going upwind. Increasing throttle again, hear those jets, jet engines roaring up on this plane. And reducing throttle. Got the afterburners on right now, folks. <laughs> hear my afterburners burning? Coming back toward me, reducing throttle here, trying to bring it down low. Coming overhead, and there it goes, increasing throttle, turning to the right. Okay, you know, it took me a while to get the feel of this one. This one takes a while to get the feel. Unfortunately, you know, it's not something that's going to work right away for you, in other words. So that makes me concerned about this being purely for beginners. Where is it? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Lost it in the sun there for a second, but it's flying real slow into the wind there. And really hard to bring it down here to my level without crashing it. <laughs> throttle up, throttle up, throttle up, turning. Coming up wind. Let's see if we can do a slow flyby. There it is. The battery's lasted quite a while, surprisingly. And I'm getting the feel of the turns too, so I can turn it a little bit harder now. Yeah, it takes a while to get the feel of it. You know, it's, it's a bird that you really need to get the feel. More throttle. When you're turning, more throttles needed to keep this one up. There. See the turn the other way now. I'm almost at full throttle right now. That means the battery's getting low. So we're gonna call it quits here shortly. Santa wine. Not too bad now. But again, it took me a while to get the, the feel of it. And I'm not, I'm doing real, you know, kind of proportional turns, but you gotta know that this thing will dive if you turn too hard, so. More throttle, more throttle, more throttle. You got to keep it up at about this altitude here, about 20 meters up, 15, 20 meters. Don't come down too low because every once in a while it will dip when you turn. Especially going downwind here. Full throttle now to go downwind. Coming down, coming down. Increasing throttle. Now, and when you increase throttle, you don't want to just jam the throttle because it'll it will kick up the nose right away, with this, and the stabilizer won't correct for that. Gentle, gentle throttle increase. So we're almost done. That battery should be almost done too. So the FX A22, one of the, I'm assuming this is from, well, the real name of the company is, I, I can't pronounce it, <laughs> but they call these fly bears, <laughs> the FX series. This is the F A22, two channel. Yeah, this company just specializes in these two channels. That's all they produce, apparently. <laughs> but some of them are a lot of fun. Like the A20, FX A20. Okay, we're going to call it quits here. I think my battery's just about had it.
full throttle right now. Bringing it back in, reducing throttle. That's it. So that's the FX822, the F22, and it flew. So I hope you enjoyed this flight, this Quadcopter 101. Signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks. <laughs>